She's looking fat for sure. Just to be clear, like, only that over there says no trespassing. Yeah, we're allowed. This is fine. I called the owner. Yeah, my daddy owns the place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone Did they seal it back up? No, so, no, we can go around this way and then go down that way. Can we? Yeah, yeah, this is the way we can. Oh. I might do the right oh. thing. Spike me on something. Mm. I just might sip on something. Disappear for a month. I might dip on Springing into action like a bungee cord. Mm. Standing on the corner getting no applause. Mm. Mm. Squinting through my eyes. All right, what up guys? Welcome to Stoked and Steezy. This is the first episode of our account. We just got to this mill. It's kind of this abandoned cliff jumping spot. Everything is completely covered in this beautiful art, but it's a little cold right now, but once it warms up, I'm gonna definitely go jump in. And we have tons of homies coming out throughout the rest of the day. What's up? I'm Aaron. I'm the guy behind the camera at Stoked and Steezy. I discovered this place a couple months ago. Thought it'd be a cool spot to set, so I actually built this platform up here so that we can jump off the top. So we're gonna have a good sesh today. Well, I'm just trying to change it up. Yeah, I'm myself. Why you trying to be the same? For what? If you got a copy, niggas, play the game for what? If you ain't trying to hit the bulls, are you aim for what? Come on, man. I'm uh, Charlelicious. Uh, this is my first time at this spot. Gonna uh, cut it back from the 30. Yeah, yeah. Are you nervous about the cold? Uh, nervous about the cold? No, just not wanting to be cold. I'm not yeah. nervous about it. So. Yeah. <laughs> you just climb it from here? Yeah, you see the ladder I built? Yeah, but how do you get to it? Yeah, you kind of just... Alright, let me get my wetsuit on. Like the match to match the vibe As I roll the 85 Like I'm on the getaway Cause I gotta get away Like the match to match the vibe so, my name is Aiden. I'm learning a cork seven. I'm about to try off this wall right here. Oh. My name's Nick. I got a background in tricking, but today, cliff jumping. Oh, you fucking messed with slipping slide. Dang. Fuck yes! <laughs> oh my god! That felt great. I'm so fucking happy of that. Going for redemption. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, dude, there's anti climb paint on that. Is that what that is? Genius. Definitely big thanks to Vibrams. They sent me out these shoes and I feel so much more comfortable jumping these platforms with these shoes because I'm walking on rusted gates, rusted metal. There's like glass everywhere, especially upstairs. The reason my feet are not bleeding right now is because of these shoes and I'm definitely super stoked on them. I definitely really love the fact that all the toes are spread out and divided because it just makes me feel like I have a much better grasp on my environment and I feel like I'm really out here experiencing it without the glass on my feet. That is the biggest part. I'm hoping I get advances, this increases chance. Yeah. My life is like a prom, but there ain't no dance. Yeah. Standing in this hall, getting funny glances. God, that feels good. Woo! That run up is like, that run up is exactly what you need. Like. Just enough steps, just enough pops. I miss my mother, but I miss my mother. I ain't get to know my mother, but I actually love her. Strange. I made the studio my home. Every time I touch a microphone, I'm at home. Every time I hear a metrodome, I get in the zone. Dude, in theory, if you jumped like straight vertically, someone could do it. Then it wouldn't fit down there. If I was less muscular, I'd do it any day. Like, yeah. Because yeah. it's not the fear thing. It's the, it's the scared thing. I'm just too macho, yeah, yeah. big wise. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's not only about going to cliffs or going to diving boards. Anything can be a cliff jump. There's train bridges, there's pedestrian bridges, there's abandoned buildings. And it's all about the exploration, just getting out there with friends, seeing new things, doing things that are outside of your comfort zone. It really is such a beautiful aspect of the sport. It's automatic like bad habits and tendencies. 
All in the back, puffing the remedy. With a nine on my lap, she like it tend to me. So for this next trick, I'm doing hand plant dub half. And right now I'm getting all the mud off it from the last trick because you don't want to plant and slip off like that. Range roll with the chain smoking, dangerous break, ugly with great goes if you ain't noticed. My hometown is a war zone and it ain't focused. Fridge is filled with a gang of coke and it ain't so so clean. Just unbelievable. And then there's a big steel train bridge right that way. We're gonna go depth check that very thoroughly, make sure there's pockets that are at least, say, maybe 15 to 16 feet deep. And then if everything goes good and there's no trains coming, we're gonna go hit that spot for a couple times. Yeah, so we just got to the train bridge. We have no idea how high it is. It could be anywhere from maybe 55 to 65. It's really hard to tell. But we're grabbing rocks. We're gonna go from the top, throw them, get a gauge of how high we think it is. That's the goal. Pray that it's deep. You want a nice, solid rock to represent your body. A really small pebble, it's not gonna really work as well, but. Yo, perfect rock. Yeah, the main reason we do this is because however long it takes this rock to hit the water is how long our bodies have to do whatever trick we want to do. So, and basically, the surface tension. Yeah, I mean, yeah. somewhat. Everyone, that's the joke in the community. It's like, <laughs> oh, you're throwing it to break the surface tension. Kind of, but not even. No, not even. Not yeah, no, it's just no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> we might be in a little bit of a pinch because the train comes by every 20 minutes and one hasn't come in at least 20 minutes, so hopefully we're not forced to jump because of the train coming. Regardless, we should not jump without depth checking. But Never jump without a depth check. Yeah, unless it's unless jump it's into shallow water thing. versus train, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, first rock. So right here, it looks like probably... Um, that might be 50. That might, it might be 50. We're guessing completely based off of just past experience throwing rocks on ledges that we know how high they are. So this may be 50. Yo, real quick, guys, also, if you didn't know already, all of the YouTube videos that we make, there's a behind the scenes with more content, more videos, more talking clips, more of the experience is captured on the behind the scenes edit that we only post on Patreon and OnlyFans. So check those out. Big right. boy. Yep. This will represent me. Yeah. As I fall to the abyss. Hmm. Man, this is easily like, the least exciting part of cliff jumping is going out there. Being in the water for this long and not jumping, just being cold. Let's do it. All right. So depth checking is one of the most important things when it comes to cliff jumping. Basically, what you do is you get one, two, maybe three people to go out into the area that you're planning on landing in, and those people all need to spread out, go as deep as they possibly can. If you're jumping about a 30-foot bridge, you want it to be at least 10 feet. If you're jumping something higher, closer to 50 feet, you want it to be closer to 15. The Olympic pools where people dive 90 feet, those are about 17 feet deep for reference. Dang. There literally was no pocket, and every single spot was less than 11 feet, which is not what you need for something this big. So unfortunately, that bridge is probably not a safe thing to jump and train on. I think some people have jumped it in the past, and people do jump and survive things like that, but it's just, it wouldn't be good for our feet and ankles, and it definitely would not be a good idea to just rep that. We're part of the city demolition team, so we're, they basically need us to get rid of like the rest of whatever this is. To be continued on Patreon, check us out, link in bio, guys. Appreciate you. My other thing in double gainer, or maybe like a steezy dub hat, but... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Yo, Zach! Keep... Did you guys hit an alarm? So I see them coming up right now. That was Zach and Josh. They just tripped the alarm for this building right here. They're the most insane, like, parkour, free running, trampoline athletes that I know. And so this is definitely gonna be a fun sesh, but yeah, it's getting darker. Uh, Aaron, our camera guy, brought a bunch of nice lights. So we're gonna set those up, hopefully get some night shots, and uh, hopefully it turns out good. We only have four lights, so we'll make it work, right? Um, so I'm gonna try a gainer, and I'm gonna try to hit both of my hands on the ceiling right here and clear the ledge that's below me. like a um, double palm ceiling gainer. Zach, you got this, bro. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Hit the block like a oh, oh, dude, that was insane, bro. Get my pockets right. You ain't gotta be a fan. My AC is nice. Dude. 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 Dude.
Okay, so we got four like massive lights. Definitely something sick for illuminating all the downward shots and it's gonna be super sick. Look at all the people on the bridge. They're like, what the heck is going on? We're shooting a music video. You be so focused. We be rooting for you dog, so just go for it. Never let a hater quarterback, he won't throw it. And the bad thing is I be wide open. But I'm straight though. Slim, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. I'ma still do it. If it ain't killed you yet, then you can live through it. You about as solid as a rock, but you still feel it. Dude, that was absolutely nuts.